Welcome to my SAS VA tutorial on how to calculate moving averages by group. A uh, quick disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with SAS. I'm just a random SAS VA user trying to help our fellow users and save them some of the pain and suffering that I went through. <laughs> um, in any case, I'm assuming that you know the basics, you know how to load a data set, how to create some graphs, use filters. What I'm going to show here is yeah, the moving average by group. So what is our data? We have a day variable, a company variable, and a stock price variable. These uh, data are all made up. This is what those three variables look like plotted by a symbol time series plot. You can see that the daily variation is a bit noisy and therefore what well, we want is the five day moving average. You can see here that the, the moving average starts on the 10th of October, which makes sense because our data starts on the 6th of October. So the 10th is the first day for which we have five days to calculate an average. Now I'll show you what I thought would work, but didn't because I thought that was interesting. I learned this last week, I think. You can right click on a measure, click on new calculation, and you get a few um, different calculations pre-made by SAS. I chose moving average. Let's say moving five day moving average number of cells to average five perfect all right what happens if we plot this new variable that we just made you maybe can tell that it's almost the same as what i want except for the beginning something weird is happening in the beginning uh, to illustrate that, we can go back to the data set and add the new variable. So, in the first days, the first observations, rather, the variable seems correct. You can, of course, calculate it to check. Where it starts creating problems is when you realize that it's not taking into account the different companies you wanted by group. Let's order it in a different way. Let's order it first by company. So right click, sort company ascending, and then I add a sort for day. And well, apart from the fact that it calculates five day moving average for the first four days which I don't think makes sense but sure why not you realize here at the limit between these two companies coffee and cupcakes and tornado tea that it's it's not correct here it should only take into account the tornado tea um, values now we can look more in detail at the new variable we created to see why that might be. And when you check what's behind it is an aggregate cells operator, which is still a bit mysterious to me, to be honest, but it just says take the average of the stock price for the since four observations ago until the current observation. And it, it makes sense that SAS wouldn't know to group the observations because we don't tell it to group. But we don't want the aggregate cells. We want the aggregate values for each group. And there might be a way of doing this. Maybe I thought with um, either the, the aggregate table operator or the sum by group. But honestly, I, I didn't find a way to do it. So if you do, please leave it in the comments. What I ended up doing in the end was 
Oh, right. Another first, another comment on why this didn't work. It actually, if you see beyond the tenth of October, it is the same as the the final of what I want <laughs> variable. If you ignore the first few values, then it is correct. So I thought, okay, I can use this with a workaround. I can add a date filter and just filter the first five values, except it just keeps on doing the same. Again, there might be a way to uh, go around this. Let me know. Uh, how I finally did it is uh, it's based on a blog post which I'll link in the description, and that I adapted for groups. The first step is to create a new data item. And it is an aggregated periodic operation, operator, rather, uh, with relative period. So this you can see the description, it returns the aggregated values for a period of time that is relative to the current period. For example, the previous month. Perfect. Let's get the stock price. There are some options, I won't go into the details, but you can imagine. So, uh, I just select the day parameter. I tell it I want it by day, and this is the number of intervals to offset from the current period. I leave it at zero, it just means today's, oh, well, let's say the current day. Now what I do, I just go to the text editor, I copy this, I uh, put plus, and then I copy this four more times. I can't imagine if anyone has to calculate a 200 day um, moving average. I, maybe then <laughs> this is not the best way. Right, I had already a plus, so we already have one, two, three, four, and five. And now we have to change the date. So this is the, the same day. I put minus one or one day ago, compared to the current observation, minus two, minus three, minus four. So what I'm telling SAS here is take for a, a given date, the price of that day and the previous day, two days ago, three days ago, four days ago, and uh, give me the sum. So now I have to average it. So. I tell it to divide all this by five. There we go. And we can call it stock price five day moving average. I already had a similar um, variable that I used for the example in the what I want tab. It's automatic aggregate measure, everything's great, perfect. And then simply, I, I don't need a filter here. What I just do is change to the new one we created, which was this one. And yeah, it's exactly the same as this. We can compare it in the data set. Let's add it. Let's add the column. I should have used different names. I just realized that I forgot to change the format. So let's do that. It's a stock price five day moving average. We want the euro format. You can see that the two variables that I just made, they're pretty much the same, except, well, this one is rounded. And this one has missing values for the first four days of the period per group. Therefore, also for the Tornado T group, first four days are missing. 
I thought I'd finish this video explaining when I wouldn't use this technique. First of all, if you just have one variable and no groups, definitely use the automatic sass um, variable. I mean, if you're here and you remove the groups, this is what you want then. Perfect. You're done. And another situation, I guess I wouldn't use it, is if this could be made in the data prep. What I mean by that is that I suppose if you only have these few, this amount of variables, then you can relatively easily calculate this uh, with your code and the data preparation, and then just import that data set. Why I showed you this is because I needed it in, in a dashboard that I made, because in that dashboard, I have several dynamic filters. The users could choose between different categories, age, category, region, they, can, they could exclude some variables, and that creates a lot of different moving averages because, yeah, some had, were multiple choice. You could uh, choose two provinces. Anyways, it couldn't, I think, reasonably be done in the data prep. I wanted a way to do it in SAS VA, and now I know how to do it. Now you know too. I think I'll make a few more videos on the... SAS VA tips and tricks that I've learned. Let me know if you find them useful. Let me know if there's anything you'd like explained a bit uh, slower. Or definitely let me know if you know a better way to do this. Um, until the next time.